A collection in the Kentucky Historical Society helps us remember nurse Nina Shelton. Nina Shelton uh, was born in 1875 in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, she decides to become a nurse and she graduates nursing school in Missouri and she joins the um, Army Nurse Corps in 1910. Women had served in conflicts like the American Civil War as well as the Spanish-American War um, through organizations like the Red Cross. But the Army Nurse Corps is really the first move to sort of formally integrate them in the U.S. Army. They were not considered enlisted or conscripted um, personnel, and so they didn't have some of the same structure or rank privileges that their male counterparts would have had in the Army. So after she enlists in 1910, she briefly serves in some other locations such as the Philippines, and then she actually requests um, a discharge, an honorable discharge in 1916, but this doesn't last long because um, the United States enters into the First World War in 1917, and so she again joins the ANC and is pretty quickly shipped overseas to serve in France. And we actually do have in our collection some of her military identification. So it has her photograph, a lot of personal details like her height, her hair color, and one even has her fingerprint. She received a victory medal from World War I. It's a bronze medal, we have it in our collection, and it has a pin backing and a France clasp on the front. She was awarded in 1923, the Distinguished Service Medal, along with four other nurses, by General John J. Pershing. She writes to her aunt and uncle, who were living in Lexington at the time, about the ceremony. She doesn't really want the attention put on her, but then she writes a letter, a later letter, um, to her aunt and uncle, where she's clearly gotten more into the spirit of the day. She talks about how thrilling the day was and how there were 14 moving picture men there to take her image for newsreels. Uh, she continues a very long career. She received more accolades. She was invited to the White House numerous times, including to the inauguration of um, FDR. And we have that invitation in our collection as well. Um, and then she's promoted to the rank of captain in 1935. And after 27 years of service, um, she started dealing with some health issues. So she decided to put in for retirement. I think one of the really interesting uh, aspects that I would point out to researchers would be if someone who is interested in seeing kind of the challenges women faced in the early years of the Army Nurse Corps. You see this transition of women in the military from kind of a less formalized role into a more formalized role by achieving these relative ranks that they weren't able to get before, like captain. For more information, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug Hyde.